So we're gonna do something a little different. I have never seen it done in a YouTube video before. Gardening at night. I don't know why I've never done it before. Because I garden at night a lot. That's the best way to see bugs. And that's the best way to find problems. Caterpillars come out. Cats are pooping in the yard. Raccoons are stealing your fruit. Like my poor persimmon tree. I'll show you my persimmon tree right now of what the raccoons did to it. It used to be luscious and beautiful. Look at it now. Look at the broken limbs they did. I mean, just they just demolished it. About 80 persimmons, Fuyu persimmon. 80 of them. All of them. Gone. Eaten. Even the rotten ones on the ground. Disgusting. Anyways, let's take a look at the pumpkin plant. The one that's growing like crazy even though it's not supposed to. Let's look under the leaf. Let's see. Got the light there. And the cool thing about this, I'll show you from the top. You can see bugs in dark spots. And there's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. The dark spot. Right to the left of the light. Right there. See what it is. Mosquito. <laughs> Stupid things. See, I didn't know my pumpkin plant harbored mosquitoes till right now. But yeah, I love gardening in the dark. You can find out this is a pink savory. Also not supposed to be flowering right now. But I love the wood mulch. This wood mulch, when you step on it, you could it springs back on you. It's so springy. It's so soft. Can't really be compacted. And and I have a. I'm gonna do a, a video on it soon. I have purple tree collards, or tree kale. Not many people have this plant. But as you can see, um, let's see if I can get a good picture on it. How many holes there are? A lot of caterpillars. I mean a lot. So this is the best time to see. I mean, look at that leaf. Look what they did to it. This is the best time to find out if you have problems. Because at nighttime, they tend to be on top of the leaves. Daytime, they're underneath hiding. But I sprayed neem oil on them last week. I don't really see any more. I think I see some eggs right there on that leaf right here. I'll have to look at that later. I need two hands to do this. I don't see any caterpillars. That's good. Let's walk around the corner. There's a red crimson seedless grape right there. There's a loofah plant that's pretty much done for the season. As you can see, the the damage they cause the caterpillars hmm no I don't see much I don't see anything man I wish I could use neem in the summertime the summertime was horrible horrible for for this and I use this pomegranate here that I got from my now departed great aunt. Uh, I didn't know what it was. My father planted it. Um, but later on, after it fruited finally, after three, four years, it's a, I believe it's a Utah sweet. So, I don't see any. That's good. I'm looking at some of the under the leaves. Nothing. And once again, the leaf trick. If you don't want to look under the leaves you know you got bad back you don't want to bend over every time put the light underneath and if it's a big caterpillar you'll see a dark spot nice little trick you know kind of like looking at the embryo of an egg oh i thought that was a dark spot it was a water liquid on top but yeah little trick you can do just like that look for the dark line 
using the center stem. That's where they're hiding, but they shouldn't be doing that now, though. I mean, they may be. You never know. You never know. Nothing is, nothing is predictable in nature. Well, everything looks good. Well, anyways, finally, <laughs> without my son, I could do a long, nice video. Um, here's some loofah. It's a big one right here. Um, a video gardening video at night. I don't think I ever seen that on YouTube before. All these pumpkins you see, they weren't planted by me. My son, a few years ago, threw our jack-o'-lantern pumpkin we purchased, and year after year, they just keep coming up. They just keep coming up, just like this guy. I'm gonna see how long this this big whomper is gonna take to die off. It got 36 degrees last night, and still it's flourishing. All right then. We'll keep doing this. I like doing this actually. It's nice and quiet. I'll see you next time.